Okay. Hi, sorry. I was daydreaming a little bit. Looks like we're partners. So, uh, guess we should get started. Pencil? Yeah, I've got pencil. You have your choice between green or pink. Green. There you go. So, what? We've done this before. Hip. Let me guess. You had a class with another girl who looked very similar, hair slightly different. That's my twin sister, Heather. Yeah. She's a sweetheart. Talks a lot. What class was it? Math. <laughs> Doesn't surprise me. It's her least favorite subject. Uh, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Elise. Nice to meet you. You're new here, right? Where are you from? Oh, how'd you like it there? So, why'd you guys move? Top. Oh, so. Wow, you're gonna like it here. Everyone's really nice, <laughs> especially Heather. We should get started. Heather, we're similar, fairly, slightly different. I'm a little more quiet, but we still have pretty much all the same interests and everything. She's more outgoing, I'm more of the wallflower. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're going to be doing ours on Shakespeare, which works out for me because he's one of my favorites. I guess we can just go ahead and talk about, like, his life, maybe some of, like, his favorite plays, or his most popular plays. Like, Macbeth is used in tons of different ways all over, like, the media nowadays, and we can mention stuff like that. Yeah, I love school. Whereas she doesn't like to learn as much, but that's why we help each other. <laughs> but there is one thing I hate, and that is public speaking. So I'll make you a deal. I will go ahead and put the whole presentation together. I can do all of like the poster boards and maybe even write some of the speech, right? But if you actually say it, and I just stand there, really appreciate it. Do you have a deal? You're so sweet, I really appreciate it. I mean, we can still work on it together. You're friends of Heather's, so why don't I get your number, and you can come over later, and we can work on it, and then maybe hang out with Heather.
we have the same phone case. It's our like best friends forever sisters case. <laughs> All right. What is your phone number? Just let me know if they're looking. I don't want to lose my phone. <laughs> I let me just send you a quick text. still working on their project, but uh, I mean, we pretty much know what we're doing, so I want to play like a game. Mash. <laughs> I guess you played that with Heather. That's her favorite. Uh, I have another one. Alright, it's called Love Calculator. So, we're gonna write out and give me your first, middle, and last name. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not gonna like steal your identity. I just need to, just for the game, you'll see, you'll see. Oh, you don't have to be embarrassed. Let me hear it. I love that middle name. No, really, I'm not kidding. Is it like a family name? Write it out here, so. And then the middle name. How do you spell it? Okay. You kind of like how it sounds. Alright. Okay. And then give the first, middle, and last name of anybody else. No, it doesn't matter. I mean, it can be like a crush or like, you know, anybody you think of. I mean, I guess it can technically be a celebrity too. Alright, so let me write that here. Like your boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay. Someone from like your last school. Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna count up all of the L's first in all of the names. So one. to count up all of the O's. So, okay. And then we need to count up all of the V's. So, and we count all the E's. And the last two. And 
you guys are approximately 64% compatible. <laughs> Just a silly game. I want to do one more. Okay. So I already have your first, middle, and last me, but go ahead and get me someone else. It could be anybody. You know, I'm kind of like putting you on the spot, but you could do your celebrity crush, you could do anybody you think of. Okay, okay. I'll think of someone for you. Let's do... Let's just do me. I mean, why not? It's just a silly game. We'll see how compatible we are. Okay, so we're gonna add up all the L's. One, two, one, two, three, four, okay. And now we'll add up all of the O's. E's and now the E's. So now I'm going to add those together. And again. We're 80% compatible. See? It's meant to be. <laughs> Alright. Okay. How much time do we have left? Wow. Like I said, I can always work on it. I mean, if you want to come over and just, like, hang out, I'll do most of the work as long as you say it. Okay. You have really pretty hair. Yeah. How did you get it that color? <laughs> I love that. Do you mind if I, like, play with it? Just to kill some time. I mean, class is almost over. Supposed to look like Bowser's shell from Mario. So. I just love when people play with my hair. Is it like so? Sensitive head, do you? Okay. Just let me know if they start looking, okay? Heather did this too. Yeah, she went. She went. What class do you have next? What's your favorite class? Like your favorite subject? Yeah. That's a good Oh, I tease other, I'd have to say math, is probably my least favorite as well. I prefer all, like, the English, foreign language. 
history. Those are my favorite. Your hair is so soft. fun color like this. Maybe one day. You'd do it for me. You're so sweet. I'd love to have like pastel pink or like lilac hair. You could do that. Wow. You're really talented. I'd really appreciate it. Only if you want to. Your hair looks so pretty with it, like, braided like this. You really get to see all the dimension and color. I'm obsessed. Now we can just pull it out and make it kind of like more voluminous and messy. There we go. Really show that like teal color. Be so cute. Okay. Now let's just use a hair tie here. Okay. Now don't worry about it. I steal another hair tie from Heather. Okay. There we go. Let's do another one, but this time with some pink. Yeah, I like that pink. Let's do the pink and red this time. I really like that pink. And... Here we go. Just let's pull that out and make it a little thick now. Just to really make it pop. Okay. I put a hair tie on it. 
Yeah, it looks like class is almost over. Alright. Thanks for letting me play with your hair. A lot of fun. So just give me a text after and you can ride home with us if it's okay. Alright? I'll see you after. Cabis, Penaga, Phoenix. Sam Hipwell, Logan Orr, Miguel Martinez, Fire Drake 0470, Sarpanel de Panin, Unleash Lewis 22, Matt C13, Cobalt Enigma, Andrea 906, Paul, Farser, Gary McCoy, Robert, Apollyon 001, Connor, Tom, Dennis, Connor J. Pesca, Buddy Beck, Livid Canadian, Reviewers, Nameless Throwaway, Stefan Starvoito, Reeves, Makami, Link 1259, Ethan Jansen, Derek Cooksey, Mike B, Spencer Reed, or Cumper, Angry Cripple, Jackson Arnold, Andrew Ball, Cece, Mr. Adelon, Thomas Flanagan, SDR Knight, Biznatch 112, Craig, Crenindros, Hollow, Mr. Ox 1998, John Mon, Light Fury, Taylor Hansen, Rocky, Mr. McNugget, Cedric, Lewis, David McDowell, Nuki, David T. Edwards, Jeremy Fitzpatrick, Paramore is the best, Melkill, Big Elb, Just Woodsy, Spy Cam, Wolf's Rain 17, Sam Small, Tom J, Derek Jenkins, Aaron, Justin Parmentier, Ryan Wareham, Ray Warden, This Charming Mothman, Leon Kun ASMR, Zio Key, Clyde Fabian, Ondarian ASMR, Falconian, Kyle Cacante, Chaffa, 8 Penguin 909, Dragonflame, Ivor, Sleepy Sloth, Mr. Mayhem, Chris MC83, Bartohawk764, Mermo0921, Mike S, ASMR Musings, Sensei John Rivera, Ringo, Apollo, Literally My Husband, Mark M, James Pudic, Jacob RN, Dude, Johnny D. Renzo, Chug and Plier 316, Nicola D's, Jeremy Spaniel, Sark 237, Justin, Scourge 77, Eric Smart, John TC1, Brian, Patrick Stewart, Luxon, 